What's up, Walker Nuts? All right, we are back at this unit. Uh, this is Wednesday. Bought it on Friday, so I basically took the whole time they gave us to uh, get it emptied. I've taken it. Got some trash over here, empty bin. Uh, miscellaneous furniture over here. It looks like this is a, unfortunately, a big couch cushion. Um, and those two as well, couch cushions. Uh, this unit next to us here, which is purchased by another couple, they um they have couches so they need in their short cushions so i'm going to get those to them they're going to be here soon and then uh you see a bed and a headboard file cabinet not too exciting oh, here's what we got i gotta get this out i gotta get these down get this out apparently the dining table is in the next unit too so that set is uh, separated not the end of the world you can sell you can sell those on their own and you can sell a table on their own but they want the chairs. I'm gonna have to work a deal. They're awfully nice. I was actually thinking about bringing them home, seeing if Jana wants them. I, I might still have to do that. But uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have too many more cushions up here because that's kind of a waste. Cushions are worth zero to me since there's only partial cushions and their couch is worth zero to them unless they have the cushions. So um, I think though that they have some slats what they said appears to be planks for a bed and we have the bed. You can buy other planks pretty easily couch cushions not so much i think we'll do a swap on those and that would be for that bed right there probably if it's for the tempur pedics worth a lot more but they're just regular old slots not a whole lot of value but still um it's good that we can meet up and do a little sw swap and get our sets complete except for this dining set uh i don't know what to do with that uh the chairs are probably worth as much as the table and maybe more so they offered to buy them off me i just got to figure out a price and see if that's going to work for them but uh for now it's stinking blazing blazing hot i was gonna say freaking hot but i don't know if some people get offended by that word um and some people meaning in my in my family uh <laughs> but it's it's super duper hot luckily i wore a sleeveless today because i'm gonna be sweating all right let's get to work all right check this out guys here's what we got so far look at these chairs i know i just showed them but let me show them again because they are so nice um it feels like there's memory foam inside this the pads the cushions rather i don't know if i, can, I can't really read that i mean somewhere i don't know but uh, anyways the, these cushions are so dang comfortable you sitting on there it feels like you're sitting on a pillow from heaven right there i don't know how to explain it it's just extremely extremely comfortable cushions i tried to talk jana into letting us upgrade those but I don't know, something about not matching the style or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's silliness. Silly, silly. This matches right here. Uh, looks like we need a little furniture polish to clean that up right there. But I think the bench and these right here, I think that's a $200 set right there. This little piece right here, a little ottoman or whatever. Oh, I wonder if this opens right here for storage, probably. There's the seat cushions. There's a couple, probably big pillows, I think. I'm wondering if this guy uses this stuff for staging. Uh, this mattress right here goes with the box spring over here, okay? Um, but what I'm really excited about, oh, and first, this, I don't know what this is. It's a piece of glass or something. It's super heavy, super heavy. I think it's glass. Only glass weighs that much. Uh, this Tempur-Pedic right here, look at this thing. This is, this is beautiful. This is actually nicer than the mattress we just bought for our own bed, but unfortunately, we have a king and this is a queen. It looks like there's a little stain right there, but on the corner, that's where you want your stains. You don't want your stains right in the middle where your butt goes. The stain on the corner probably just from when they moved it. Um, Tempur-Pedic mattress right here, queen. I don't know, that's probably, well, with, the, with that uh, electric adjustable bed right there, I think that's 1200 bucks. I might be overstating. I did look at some prices online. They sell for about 2400 mine's in ex excellent condition i'd say list it for 1200 lower it to a thousand uh and maybe take seven or eight hundred if it doesn't move before but here's what i'm really excited about guys what do you see right now what do you see right now behind this behind this headboard oh, oh, oh. all right there's a i thought it was all boxes there's a dresser okay i, I don't mean to be too negative that's actually a really pretty dresser and dressers are really easy to sell this doesn't have that modern look that people are really after um but I, it, this will still sell this if that matches right there that's 200 bucks i think maybe 150 at the lowest 
but this I'm more excited about. Look at this. Boxes, boxes, boxes. See the inside here? Boxes. It looks like we got some more chairs here. How deep does this guy go? I thought we were near the back. And no, we are not near the back, which means I'm this is gonna take me two trips. We got two trips right here. But this is good. This I like. Me likey a lotty. All right, guys, got that one out, pulled out. Even better. Look at this one. This uh, this black one, it looks more modern to me. Just slightly a little bit more modern. Maybe it's just the color. Uh, that's that's 200 bucks right there. Good news. Good news. All right, check this out. Look at this lovely. Look at that with the... Uh, what do you call it? I forget. The little buttons or... I forget what those are called, but that's a very nice looking chair. Very modern. The gray, very in right now, very hip. We got two there, and I think we got two more wrapped up inside. That's another good find. I hey guess I'll tell you what, I'm feeling way better about this unit now than I did uh, this morning. I thought this is all going to be furniture in here. The finding these boxes is great. Finding the better furniture, great. Like if you're going to find mattresses, you find a brand new Tempur Pedic. That's about as good as it gets, I think. Um, the other mattress is clean, totally sellable as well. The chairs are easy to sell. Dressers, easy to sell. Easy to sell. I'm happy right now. I'm happy. All right, what do we got here? Hakazan. Las Vegas. What is it? What is this? Uh, this is the guy. What the heck? Carrie Joseph. Huh. It's like a gold record. What the heck? This guy's like a realtor and a marine before that, I think. What else he was into? This is pretty cool. Huh. Alright, All right, guys. It does appear that I've exposed the back wall. I think it's right behind that. So we got the two black end tables to match this piece. That's really, really good. I, I, again, I think this is 200 bucks right here. With those, we might be looking at 300, let's say 250 at the lowest. Or, you know, if I had to, 200 for all of it. That's another end table, matches that one, both of which match this one. So the guy had two really nice dresser sets and that's a good money. That's some good money. But it looks like this is the back wall here. Got some more boxes, got a bench right here. I'm not sure what those are. We'll figure it out. But a lot more boxes of mystery. We love the boxes. Got to check these drawers. Make sure nothing's in there. I might be working a deal to buy all this furniture with another of the storage buyers. We'll know in just a second. We'll, we'll, we'll know in a few minutes. All right, this is a good find. This box is in the back corner. And I opened it up to see if this was a used cartridge to toss or brand new and sure enough they're brand new so it's a case of them actually there are seven of them remaining in this case of nine gpr 31 canon toners um I'm, i looked them up they sell for 60 dollars each each meaning one and i've got seven uh on amazon but unfortunately i have to be approved to sell canon product on amazon so i would need to sell them on ebay on ebay they're selling for eh, anywhere from 45 to 60 but including free shipping so shipping is going to be at least 10 bucks on that i don't really like doing free shipping personally but um yeah it looks i mean even if i got four 40 bucks each plus shipping and i've got seven there uh, that's not bad that's 280 bucks right here one little box all right this little box right here this has some money in it unfortunately not in resale just in cost these this is all realtor stuff these little lock boxes that they put on the you know on the house when they list it so that people can come up and they use their phone now which works i think through bluetooth with these to unlock them pop the key out at the same time it also registers the realtors that come and access it so if anything's stolen they can go and talk to the realtors they have a a log a record of it uh, these cost 100 bucks each and that's um, probably not the cost of the lock that's just how much the realtors pay to to get one of these i believe it's 100 bucks each i don't know if these are are new the technology changes fairly quick this is supra uh this one right here is also supra this is an older one this is one where they think they used to take the, the actual like little device and click it in to unlock it and the, the box pops out down here 
you access the key. These are pretty uh, useful right here. A little, just a simple little combo lock. It's good if you have like uh, a uh, contractor or an inspector come, you could just give them the combo so they can access that. And it pops open, they take the key out to go and do some work on the house if they don't have access to one of these, which only realtors are supposed to be able to use these. Someone with a real estate license. So anyways, uh, this is 100, 100, what used to be probably 100. These probably 30 bucks each at uh, cost, but none of them are opening, which means I don't have the combos. Uh, what is there, 10,000 combination possibilities? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna try to figure that out. I wish it was written down, but I don't see it. So unfortunately, I think this is not worth very much at all. Boo. All right, we're here with Saul. What's up, guys? <laughs> he uh, he's also a fellow auction buyer. He may have bid me up on this one. He and I go to go this, little, head to head a, a lot on the good lockers, right? Yeah. This is a good one. This is what, this is what I bought for you. Uh, all these guys right here on the furniture. Very nice furniture. It is. Everything's wrapped up. So they take care of everything. It's a nice chair. They're very clean. Mm -hmm. This guy. Better than sets inside, huh? <laughs> you worked the deal with me on most of the furniture here. All this. All this was in there. All this stuff. Saul's coming back for all this tomorrow. Yeah. There's like a dresser in there. Good. Oh yeah, I already showed that. He bought, so he bought both those dressers, both this dresser sets, both beds, end tables, chairs, everything. Should we tell him how much? Uh, for a good price for a thousand bucks. Great deal, right? Great I hope. Deal. Good for me, good for him. That's the way it works. So Saul's got a store. Here's the address. Uh, it's in Stockton. He's got a thrift store. So if you guys are in the Stockton area, go check him out. And then here is his phone number and email address. And you're on Instagram, right? Yeah. Just follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I post uh, not everything, but most of my goodies I posted, you know, so I let people know what I have. Will that money find be on there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want it on there? Yep. I could edit that out if you don't want it. <laughs> yeah, be there. Oh yeah, these guys found some uh, monies, including lots of two dollar bills, which I don't know. We get excited about that, right? Yeah, I show you. We love it. We love it. So we found all. I found all these uh, last uh, last two weeks. Two weeks ago. Nothing but dollar bills, fifty dollar bills. I know these in the um, box a lot of change. Like we counted everything, it was only eighteen hundred. <laughs> only. <laughs> well, I, wasn't, I, I thought at first of all, I thought you know it's like a thousand because it's a lot of change. Yeah. But then I count, I count every single penny, you know. What's that? About eighteen hundred. That's awesome. It make my day. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I got so excited that day, man. It's Ooh. about as good as it gets. That and guns and gold. It's my first time uh, getting money. Yeah. 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 It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. That's happened, man. It does. All right. Nice. Thanks, so. All right. Bye, Jack. Whew. I'm sweating now. All right. My unit. My unit. Back at my unit. That's got to be organized back there. It's it's really bad. So all this, all these boxes I brought in are going right in front for now. So I counted them up. There's 20 boxes. Eight of the larger one, 12 of the smaller ones. The smaller ones are actually heavier. I think they put bulkier, uh, lighter stuff like mattress pads and pillows in the larger ones. They're not quite that light, but they are lighter, and I do see some of that in there. The smaller ones are heavier. They packed it right. You put heavy stuff, you're, you're supposed to put heavy stuff in the smaller boxes, I think, to help, uh, you know, it's weight and all of it. 20 boxes, 20 more chances of treasure, not including four or six boxes I got at the other unit. That's what we're down to, and a safe. But I got 1,200 bucks in my pocket. I almost feel like going to auctions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not today, they're already over. Uh, now I got to load that headboard or the foot rails or whatever you call it, bed rails. I'm getting tired, guys. Load the bed rails back over there to give them to Saul and complete the deal. All right, guys. So I went back to the unit and uh, delivered the side rails or the bed rails and completed that transaction. So I sold all that furniture or most of what you saw there to Saul for two or for a thousand dollars. All right, and then the dining chairs and the matching bench I did sell to the other buyers of the storage unit who bought the this guy's other unit uh, because it had the kitchen table and they really wanted the matching chairs. So I sold them that for 200 bucks. So six chairs and a bench, 200 bucks is a fair price. I could have got that if I put on Facebook Marketplace. Um, 
And I told him, I said, hey, I'd, I'd normally give you a good deal because I'm going to assume you're going to resell it. Maybe they weren't. I said, but man, I paid so much for this locker. I got to get the money out. So uh, 1200 bucks. I sold 1200 bucks that day, and I didn't have to move the furniture. I mean, I moved it out, and you know, but I didn't have to go put it in my locker and take photos listed, all that kind of stuff. 1200 bucks. I probably could have got that much, maybe a little less, just for the Tempur-Pedic bed. And I think the two dresser sets, probably three to five... Um, 300 each, maybe 500 for both sets if I want to move them really quick. I think I got it $300 each set though um, without waiting very very long. So the end tables and side tables and stuff, all that stuff doesn't really add up to that much. Those are the main pieces. The beds, mainly the Tempur-Pedic. The dining chairs, I could have sold those for decent money. And um, the dresser sets. The gray chairs I figured were probably 100 bucks, 25 bucks each pretty easy 1200 bucks guys all right so not a bad not a bad start now I'm only down 1900 bucks still a long way to dig out we've got about 25 boxes or so and I still haven't gone through it so right now um, I just got back I had a lot of Sun today if you see that a lot of Sun because I've been out Modesto cleaning a unit out for the last two days actually and um, it's a fantastic locker that's gonna be the next set after I get done with this one which we already started so we gotta finish it and of course we've got the safe to open so um, but real quick before we move forward I got some bugs in here I did want to make room for this right here I want to say thank you to Jim Jackson he is a bonafide nuts member a channel member and we so appreciate that thank you so much for signing up if you guys are interested in becoming a channel member uh, hit the join button down below it's next to, next to subscribe or at least it should be if you don't see it there maybe you're on an iPhone or an iPad but uh, get on a, a desktop computer or some other type of mobile device and hit join and I'll give you a video and tell you what that means to be a member uh, what it entails and what you get when you do all right so thanks again Jim now let's get back to the story which is almost over but uh, you know later that night I did enjoy some of the fruits of my labor some of the treasures some of the uh, spoils of war etc check it out all these fancy matches pretty cool look at them <laughs> black with silver tips it's pretty fancy Yep. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Storage lockers is not just a job. It's a lifestyle. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. Next one will be out soon. We still got about 26 boxes to go through at uh, now safely at my unit. So it looks like maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow unless I get the uh, the hankering to buy an online auction because there are quite a few lockers uh, coming up tomorrow. Uh, I don't prefer buying them online, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So anyways, we'll find out soon enough what I do in the next video. All right, until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Logger Nuts.